a week. The door is always thrown shut. Next, today we're going to be working on the uh, Ranger, but first I want to clear out my truck. I got a uh, yeah, got a lot of crap in here that I don't need, so I'm going to clear this out while the weather's kind of nice. And then we're going to head over, pick up the uh, Ford Ranger, and head over to shop Peon. We're here at uh, Shop Peon right now with the uh, Ford Ranger and today what we're going to try and get accomplished is here's our wiring for our uh, blower motor. We need to go to LKQ and get a plug-in for our blower motor and our blower motor resistor and then we're also going to try and address the issue there with the uh, wiper blades only working with the lock switch. If all that gets done and uh, is going well we're going to hopefully start tackling some of the engine wiring and get that engine running. So. I'm excited. I really want to hear that engine run. So, yeah, time to get to work. Ahab and Captain Murdoch is about ready to pull anchor and we are going to head over to uh, LKQ and uh, start getting some parts. <laughs> oh so, Captain, my Captain. <laughs> Thank you. second to uh, look up on the old Honda. Well guys, it don't look like uh, much has changed. Somebody pulled the uh, 421 header. Looks like somebody was trying to get at something here, pulled the fender back. Make him go up front and buy one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're out here at uh, LKQ, and I'm uh, sitting inside a nice Ford Explorer, I believe, just kind of chilling. And the peons and Matt Murdock right now are getting the wiring for the heater and the, uh, I believe, fuse panel for under the hood bracket. But it's too windy out there to do a video, so I thought I'd quick hop in here. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of nice. Look at these seats, pretty comfy. So, 
I'm living the high life in here, but it's time for me to get back out there and uh, get some video of them removing them parts and yeah, help them out. So. Alright guys, I have all the uh, wiring up here all crimped and done. We still need to heat shrink them all. Well that's what the uh, mess is looking like right now. And we have every setting, but they keep cutting in and out. And if you can see, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that on the camera, but we're up against the contactors on our uh, blower motor resistor here. And they are not contacting all the way, so we're going to try and Dremel these and I'll get a video of that and let you know how that goes. i got to go home and get my Dremel yet. but. Yeah, as of right now, our heater is technically all wired and uh, ready to go. All right guys, the uh, bit I ended up using was this little carbide bit right here. And if you see, there's all different types of them in this little kit here that could have worked. Uh, these ones were a little big, and then there's a few more in there that were pretty big, but it uh, cleaned the terminals up pretty good. As you can see, there's no more rust in them. I don't know how well you can see it. I can't get, there we go. Yep, so we're gonna plug this thing back in and uh, see how it works, but I'm uh, pretty confident this is gonna work now. All right, give her a go, Matt. Test all three settings, or four. They all working? It might be so low that it's not going. No, it's going. I can feel it. The lowest one's going. Yep. It barely blows. Yeah. Well, there we go, guys. We have all of our settings are low, medium, low, medium, high, and high. So now all we got to do is heat up all of our shrink wrap here. Make sure all these things are uh, sealed up good. We'll tape it up and then we'll put some wire loom on it, kind of clean it up a bit. And uh, we will be done under the hood, other than the uh, windshield wiper issue, which is unfortunately my next objective. Got it? Yeah, it's got kind of focus. All right, here we go. over here and as you've seen we just got sparked so we're gonna spray some start fluid down the intake again and see if this thing will fire up the first one was just us screwing around just humoring ourselves but we have injector power we have a uh, coil spark I have a feeling this thing's gonna run so here we go all right what's that Excitement's real. You heard it. It freaking ran. We're gonna try and run it longer off starting fluid here. So, yeah, this is exciting. Oh. 
<laughs> well, it ran. <laughs> oh, man, guys. Something had to go wrong. <laughs> oh. Well, guys, it runs, but our uh, transmission line popped off the cooler and uh, made a wee bit of a mess. So we got a cleanup crew here. Well guys, it's been a good day. We got to go to LKQ, got to hang out with uh, Matt Murdock and my two buddies there, Matt and uh, Tyler. We're just about cleaned up right now. I'm excited that the uh, Ranger finally ran, that we got the uh, 3800 going. Yeah, it was a good day. The only thing I didn't get figured out yet were them wiper blades, but I was busy working on the engine, so I guess uh, it was a fair compromise. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and get back to work. Hey guys. Hey, are y'all pooped out? Are y'all pooped out? <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Here we go. One by one, they're coming. Those guys don't care. You guys, you guys care. Oh. <laughs> you ever having a bad day? Just come here. <laughs> oh, they're all worn out. Look at them, they're all tired. They just had their play day. We're, uh, two of them, or I'm guessing three of them right now are sold, so uh, someone was just here to actually look at them a little bit ago, and that's why they're all kind of worn out and uh, sleepy, so. Golly, that guy. He's just relaxed.